Hello and welcome to A Life Full of Meaning. My name's Lisa and this is Glenn. And together we make a weekly vlog. Where we record our search for a more meaningful life. So without further ado, let's show you how the week unfolded. Good morning to you and welcome to Saturday. It's an exciting day today. Oh yes, Teal is going back in the water. And we're spending the night on her. Yeah, we're having a night out. Come on, let's go. So if you're watching from overseas, the UK is experiencing above average temperatures. So the next couple of days, it's gonna be very hot. Some call it a heat wave. Some call it a global warming crisis. Monday and Tuesday meant to be the worst and we've been asked to go into work early, six o'clock in the morning and then leave early so we're not working in the, in the hot top heat. So we're back in the water, all is good. Teal did not start again, that's the second time she's not started. She's running, she's in the water, all is good. Bethy and Leo are coming over and we're going to go for a little poodle along the canal. And we're off! It's the most beautiful day outside. I've scrambled Leo's Rubik's Cube. There you go. Hopefully that'll keep him quiet for more than two minutes. Leo, it's been like less than two minutes. You need to promote yourself to a bigger Rubik's Cube. One with, one with more squares on. Oh, we know how to make a bacon sandwich good. Jeff's chili jam. All bacon sandwiches are made. I've just got the clearing up to do. This is the thing with a small space. It's like chaos. Basically, that way makes you go that way, and that way makes you go that way. So, yeah. me and Leo have found a geocache near the canal. So, we're going to ask Pappy to drop us off and we'll see if we can find the geocache. Such a great picnic spot there. Swan babies have grown. Parents standing still like a statue. Done. Right, Leo, I've muddled this up. Okay. This will be easy. Yeah. Well done, darling. So we've jumped off. We're going geocaching. Glenn's going to catch us at the next bridge. It says 267 metres. There's Pappy. Mine's just gone tw five metres. We're geocaching, it's definitely in there somewhere, but it's a bit overgrown. Leo's very disappointed. There is no way in wearing short trousers. I keep saying we should go geocaching when he's got some appropriate clothing and maybe not when it's middle of summer I'm always desperate to get in we were unsuccessful with that geocache just because it's grown Leo needs long trousers and we need a big stick to beat back the nettles I saw the top of a cat club but we couldn't, I couldn't get to it Glenn, what are you doing? Oh, the cupboard's just not shutting properly and um, I'm spreading the screws a bit. Snackered, I'm spreading a slightly longer screw in. Beffy and Leo went some time ago. Glenn's been doing odd jobs. I've been sitting here trying to upload the video, but my computer's just got too hot and it just went, no. We're going south on the canal we're going to plot up somewhere for the evening and enjoy the sunshine from a shady spot ah well that's interesting you know teal's batteries have gone flat on two occasions well Glenn's just said 
he doesn't think it is the batteries he thinks it's the ignition because he's just wiggled the key and it's all worked oh it's such a lovely afternoon first time the boat's ever been south of the this oh yeah we've never been this way in teal before so our plans are to literally go about five minutes down the canal and to moor near Campbell Park. Five minutes? Yeah. Five minutes what, in a car? Campbell Park's only sort of five minutes away. All right. Do you think it's longer? Oh, I don't think it is. some beautiful shady spots we haven't passed these in a long time have we there's a boat here selling ice cream super super tempted to stop ice cream boat what an awesome idea what amazing graphics as well on the back of that boat. Oh, heaven down here caught fish. Let me see if I can catch it. Oh, it's a whopper. Oh, gone. Gone in a gulp. Oh, it's stuck there in his throat. Oh. Okay, so maybe Campbell Wharf was more than five minutes away. It seemed closer in my head. It's like deja vu. Heron there. Is that the same heron we just saw or a different one? Look at the cracks in this bridge. They're all a bit like that. Yeah. It's got some big cracks in. Look at that. So yeah, Campbell Wharf was not five minutes away. It wasn't as close as I thought. So there's a concert on in this park this evening that I would love to go to, but I didn't really want to buy a ticket. So I thought if we more close, then I might be able to hear it. Anywhere more drowned here, Mr. Warner, would be great. Well, Can how we perfect is this? Turn around and face the other way. If you want to. Glenn's going to go and turn around and then we're going to come back and stay here. Really? So, yep, so we're just going to spin it around here and then more on those 48 hour moorings. Round we go. Oh, what an absolutely fabulous spot right next to Campbell Park right near where the concert is gonna be oh I'm well excited well we've lounged around for quite a while it's just so hot but I think it's cooling down all right I've got a blanket let's go I love this park in Milton Keynes Campbell Park it's just such a beautiful space we just arrived at the cricket and I was like, oh wow, let's watch cricket. And then they literally just shook hands and now they're going off. That was the worst timing ever. Mr. Warner, I'll spot a shady bench. Shall we? There's no rush. This budging shop reminds me of lockdown because it's where we used to come in lockdown that was closest to the marina. So this is the concert venue and we're just the other side of that building. So the boat is super close. The pond is empty. No, that was a pond. It's a beautiful evening. The sun is setting. Can you hear that? That is Rag and Bow Man coming on stage. Good morning and welcome to Sunday. We're just sitting down having our coffee. Glenn was sitting down having his coffee but he's decided that the windows are filthy so he's going to give them a clean whilst he's sitting down drinking his coffee. It's another beautiful day. We're more just outside Campbell Park and today we'll be leaving, heading back to the boat club, mooring up, heading home. 
Chloe's been on the phone, she's got some jobs for Glenn. And then we're going to go around and see our friends Carolyn and Charlie, which I'm really looking forward to because we haven't had a proper catch up for ages. Anyway, I'm going to crack on with the coffee. Glenn's going to crack on with the window cleaning and we'll catch you later. I finished reading Lessons in Chemistry last night. Such a great book. If you haven't read it, I really recommend it. Bacon sandwich, chilli jam. Oh yes. There you go, Mr Warner. Thanks. So we've had our bacon sandwich and we're setting off. Oh yes, before it gets too hot, we have the short trip back to the boat club now it's not five minutes but it's not a long trip anyway come on let's go glenn's nervous now every time he goes to start i was like will, will she start will she start no she's not starting she's not starting oh this is a bit of a pain it's definitely the ignition oh Oh, that is such a beautiful mooring spot. So beautiful. And we had the added bonus. Jim and Janet from Red Red Wine were opposite us. And the lovely people from Crispy Duck were behind us. So, yeah, it was a great spot. There's something going on here today. Something to do with the women duos, it looks like. He is busy this morning. Oh, 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 oh. You just catch that. That, that bird, oh, you didn't catch it. Literally came down, caught a fish, and, and flew off with it in its mouth. My camera skills aren't good enough to catch all that, but that was dramatic. Right next to me, that was. Anyway, I was just about to tell you, it's quite busy on the canal. A lot of boats on the move. I've got a feeling everybody wants to get out early this morning and moor up so they're not standing on the back of the boat in the heat. There's some pigeons in the shade. Back past the ice cream boat with the amazing graphics on the back there. We just spotted there's a fishing competition going on opposite where the boat's moored so hopefully we won't upset too many fishermen this morning we're back in mr warner's just tying up uh i'm just going to pack a few things up and then we'll get going righty time for a quick shower and change and then we're off to chloe's Chloe's clock stopped entirely now because no way is it uh, 20 to 7. Chloe, you're watching the second series of Bridgerton? Yes. Oh, what do you think of it so far? I've watched three minutes. Okay. Pause it. Pause, pause it. Pause it. Glenn's pitting cameras to Chloe's front door and around, but they can't find um, all, all the, the all the bits. All the bits essentially, because Chloe had you emptied them and yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. I've yeah. moved it. And she's moved them. It, it'll be fine. Yeah. It's not quite straight, Glenn. We expect better <laughs> from you. I think it's the actual brick that's making it look. It's the house. It's the house. It's the house, it's the house, it's the house that the door frame at the top is actually. <laughs> noticed it. So that that room there is further in than that one. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, okay, we'll forgive you. What's the next job on the list, Aaron? Camera up on the camera up here. Glenn's going up on the roof. Oh, watch him on that ladder, Aaron. <laughs> watch him on that ladder. Right. So we found the screws for the lights. Chloe kept the boxes, fortunately. Moose is taking it easy in the warm weather. The last thing? No. <laughs> <laughs> I've got curtain poles, I've got camera, two cameras in these guys in here, yeah. and then all the plug sockets need changing, and light switches. How are they like, yeah? Okay, now we're doing time. It is currently 10 to 2. Um, I need to leave here by 3.30. So. Perfect. Oh, excellent, excellent. You just keep it's cracking on. <laughs> Glenn's now changing sockets and light switches oh, and cut. Yeah, he's, he's doing well. Ta da! Quick change. Shower change. Wash, brush up. I've ironed my hat. Look, 
it was all crumpled at the front i've ironed it to make it flat i think it looks much better anyway we are now off to see carolyn charlie we've just dropped something off at jeff and sally's jeff gave me these cool bangles that are apparently supposed to stop you getting bitten <laughs> I, I smell like a citronella candle Right, so we have picked up the food. Honestly, we went round and round three times. The the there, there was scaffolding over the building and we just couldn't see the building for I looking. Still yeah, me too. Anyway, we got the food on to Carolyn and Charlie now. So we're here, Carolyn and, and, and Charlie, and, and, and I need to show you something. Chocolate squirty cream. And you're going for not just chocolate squirty cream. It's got to be both. Oh. I'm not convinced about the chocolate. No, so I'm not either. Yeah. Well, are you going to have some uh, Lisa? Definitely, Charlie. Definitely. <laughs> I've got a gift, and look at this. Oh, delish! Oh, there's some good ones in here. That is lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, what a lovely time we had with Charlie and Carolyn. It was so lovely and to Lisa see them. Rob. And Lisa and Rob as well. So, lovely, lovely. Anyway, and now we've got a gorgeous drive home with the sun setting. And the temperature not too bad. And the temperature's not 22. too bad. 22 not degrees. Bad. That'll do nicely. It'll take us about 45 minutes to get home. So, let's go. Hello, good morning and welcome to Monday. It's going to be hot, hot, hot today. Mr Warner, he was up and gone at about 20 past five this morning to start work at six o'clock. If you're not in the UK and you're like, why are they all panicking about a few hot days? Well, we're just not used to it. The thing is, we just haven't got the uh, luxury of aircon in many of our spaces. Yeah. I think I might just go McDonald's, sit in there and drink coffee all day, just to be cool. Anyway, here we are, Monday morning. What am I doing today? Well, I'm just setting up. I'm going to be working this morning. Can you hear the washing machine? Got the washing on. Yeah, other than that, it's going to be quite a dull day. I thought I'd check in with you. It is now mid-afternoon. Glenn's on his way back from work. I finished work. I've had to tidy up. I haven't done much. I mean, I've done loads of washing, loads of washing. It's all drying in this sauna that we have. I'm just having a bit of a tidy up, not doing anything very much or very far. There is a breeze coming in, but it feels like I'm just standing in front of a hairdryer. That's not so useful. Well, good evening. It looks like I've been crying. I have, yeah. Do you know, it's too hot to do anything. So what did I do? I sat on the sofa, watched Long Lost Families and then cried. I was like a snivelling wreck. All afternoon I've just sat on the sofa watching TV and crying. Good morning to you and welcome to Tuesday. It's early, it's quarter to seven. Glenn left for work, I think about half five. I am going over to Middleton Cheney today to look after Oliver. Well, now there's a turnaround. I was just getting ready to leave. Harry's just rang me to say that I don't need to have Oliver anymore. There's been a fortuitous chain of events that means that I'm no longer required. That is absolutely fine. I'm up dressed, ready to start my day and it's seven o'clock. It's not even nine o'clock yet and I'm on a mission. The kitchen's quite dark because the blinds shut to keep the sun out. But let me show you what I've been doing. I'm having a big sort out of da, 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 the dreaded cupboard. I am going to the zero waste shop later and I'm going to take them some of my empty jars. I'm donating them. I'm also sorting out some of the jars that I want to keep. I just love the shape of these bottles. If only all my groceries could be in bottles like this, I'd be a happy person. I'm washing out some more jars and sorting out plastic containers. Does a Tuesday morning get much more exciting? So I'm not sure if I mentioned it last week. I'm sure I probably did. I brought a gift for each of our four children from the Zero Waste Shop. There was a couple of reasons. First reason, times are hard for everybody. So I thought the kids would be grateful for some grocery staples. Secondly, I wanted to support Kerry at the Zero Waste Shop. And thirdly, 
Well, actually, there's no third reason. They were just the two reasons. Come on, let's go. I want to get there, pick these boxes up, get back before it gets too hot. Oh, it's so warm in the car on the way over. It's like being in a tumble dryer. Oh my goodness, it's hot out here. Anyway, I've picked up the boxes from the zero waste shop. I've got four boxes, one for each of the kids filled with some groceries. So they're gonna love that. I'm in and I'm not going anywhere else. I do not know how people in hot countries do it. I'll show you what I've got the kids in a little bit i just need to cool down all the blinds are shut it's actually quite cool in here well cool compared to outside i've put a spray bottle in the fridge with uh, some water in i'm gonna wait till that gets cold and i'm just gonna spray myself with some cold water so leo and beffy are here beth is very hot leo what have you here pyramid oh a new rubik's cube can you do this one like as quick as the other one? No, not yet. So Beth is here to pick up a box of groceries from the zero waste shop. What have we got in here? Some. Now all this stuff is organic. It's not chocolate, uh. but pasta <laughs> of the brown sauce. A lot of almonds, a lot of macaroni, macaroni a lot of rice, some what Bombay rice? mix, some chilli and lime. I think these are lima beans. I'll eat those. Yeah. Some popping corn. Yes. Some it. posh tea bags. Organic English breakfast tea. Washing up liquids. Shampoo conditioner. and conditioner. And I'm going to make us some dinner slowly. Yeah, that's because I don't want to be in the kitchen too much. Gonna just do bits and pieces and slowly comprise a bowl full of delicious food. Oh yeah. Beth is now gone. She's taken her box of zero waste goodies with her. I've actually made a little bit of an error. I thought I had some mints in the fridge but I remember Glenn saying to me last night, shall I put it in the freezer? And me going, oh yes. So in my head I was going to cook that mince for dinner tonight but I was like, well, what am I going to use instead? I remembered. I've got some red lentils. Let's see what I can rustle up. Mr. Warner's back. <laughs> well, let's get some air moving round. Right, here we go. It's a bit of a mishmash, but hopefully it'll taste delicious. Good morning and welcome to Wednesday. One of my favourite days of the week, as you know. Not just because I'm going to work. Oh, no. We're going to the caravan straight from work. We got luggage to take with us. Off to work and then to the caravan. Looks like the heat wave is over. We're back to grey skies uh, and it's cooler. 21 degrees. 20, 21, 21 degrees, yeah. The, the weather forecasters have said it's going to continue to be warm, but not warm like it's been for the last two days. Here we are at work. We will see you in a little bit. We finished work. Sat nav is saying four hours to Brixham. Let us go. What's the time now, Mr. Warner? 16 minutes past four. Let's see if we can be in Brixham by nine o'clock. What a relief the rain is. It dropped a whole 1.5 degrees. Did it? Oh, the rain is coming down now. Here we are. Oh, it makes me so happy. Always makes me happy. Glenn's grass is doing all right. Oh, the cobwebs. Look, shows yeah. how long we've been here. Well, not been, not here. been here. Oh, what a way to end the evening and start a holiday beautiful sunset good morning and welcome to thursday from brixham well this morning i got up early i went for a walk i went to the southwest coast path i walked towards berry head i walked through berry head down into brixham past the swimming pool through the town and then back up again yeah just over five miles and you know what i felt fine i was a little slow applauded there was lots of ups and downs as well so i think i did all right what is going on today there's jobs to be done add mini jobs boring stuff i've got the midweek meaningful conversation at 
midday looking forward to that then i think we'll be off out this afternoon so meaningful midweek conversation done tick work done glenn's just gone out in the car he's sold some seagull engines i think i've got that right that he had at the office it brought them ages ago he'd fixed them he's like sold them to someone who was down this i'm gonna have a tidy up because look i don't know if you can pick up but basically i've created a mess everywhere there is computers there's cameras there's wires many wires um i'm gonna have a tidy up by the time i've tidied up glenn will be back and we can go off out for the afternoon we've just fixed the door you missed all the door drama so the door uh, was was bottom. catching basically and glenn's just come back and it's like i've got these three washers that i found in the car i was like yeah do. he was like can you help me if i lift the door off can you put these washers on the hinges and anyway did it work lisa it did work and the door now shuts beautifully so uh, well i missed that because it all happened so quickly i couldn't even grab my camera and also there was no spare hand yeah. while glenn was balancing the door and i was putting the washers there was on there's a lot going on there was a lot going on anyway it's fixed it's fixed we are going to walk down into brixham glenn's going to take me out for lunch yeah i'm excited come on let's go we need to do some gardening yeah, mr warner water's in now lots of kids and families crabbing my mum really wants to do that when we come down in a couple of weeks with Leo and Ryan. Oh my goodness, we were just walking along. Leanna and her husband Matt, they watch us. They do, they do. Thank you. No problem. Oh, we have come for some delicious, delicious food. Well, I mean, that fish is looking amazing, but just check out Glenn's ribs. That looks good. We've just had the most delicious meal mm. the prince william how was those ribs yeah, massive they were really nice as well. oh, they were good i recommend it have you noticed anything different mr warner about from when we walked past half an hour ago yeah, yeah. yeah. see he's gone out we've just walked up that hill even though glenn said we'll get taxi back both of us were like no let's walk it i get halfway up that hill and i'm like why didn't we get a taxi anyway we're back at the caravan now mm -hmm. i need to sit down do you know what time it is it's bingo time come on let's go here we go tens at the ready 80 8 and 0 blind 80 what, what did you need 85 it's just been cold. We didn't win. We was close multiple times, but no. Can you hear the church bells ringing? Sounds lovely. Good morning and welcome to Friday. To be honest, it's almost midday. We've been very lazy this morning. And you know what? That trend is continuing. I woke up, I was like, Glenn, we should do something. And we both looked at each other and were like, let's not. Let's just sit around. I know this is the dullest thing for you. I know that you would probably love to see more of Devon and the local area. It's not gonna happen today. Oh no, it's not. We, I, we then said, well, why don't we go and spend the day on the beach? And then we both looked at each other and was like, oh, no. So we might go swimming at the pool on the site, but mainly we're not planning to do much. I just thought I'd check in, say hello, let you know it's going to be a dull viewing day for you. Sorry about that. Mr Warner, you've just been down the shop. I had a ventful shop visit. Go on, tell me. So not only did I stop a shoplifter. <laughs> no way. Yeah, that's, that's, this was his third time. No way. And I stopped him the third, the third time and got back what he'd stolen. No way. It was a seagull. No <laughs> packet of massive Burt's crisps comes right into the shop the yeah. crisps are all on display yeah and it's the third time this week he's been to try he's, he took the whole packet went to try and fly off couldn't make it dropped the packet they went back for it yeah and i was chasing him up the road <laughs> and he dropped it and i got it but he came back he was standing by the shop while i was chatting to the lady so, no way oh so yeah so anyway then i went round to see mike 
So yeah. I have to thank him for getting the caravan sorted out. Yeah. And I bumped into Charlie and Julie. Right. Watch our video. No and way! They are, and they're in a caravan near us, they said. Yeah. Somewhere around us. Uh, mm. And they used to have a narrow boat. And also, Mick put, thrust these into my hand. Yeah. And said, take Lisa to go and have a look at this caravan. <gasps> Do we need a new caravan? Not really, but he was insistent. <laughs> okay, we'll have a we'll have a look. So, and in the, in the shop, I've, I've, I've bought some bread, uh, I've bought some bacon, some of my favourite almond slices snuck into the. Uh, oh, Glenn! Uh, I bought some toothpaste. Oh yeah, we do need toothpaste. And I, and I, and I bought two <gasps> turnovers. These first before we. Wow. Well. So, Glenn put my shoes through the washing machine yesterday because they were a bit stinky and they've come up lovely. So we're going to go and have a look at this caravan that Mick, the salesman, says that we must see. He hasn't told Glenn the price. So this caravan apparently can't be moved from the spot it's on. Let's go have a look. So this caravan is right close to the complex and the swimming pool. Let's go check it out. Glenn's pretty sure it's this one. Are you sure, Glenn? It's got a deck. It's got a side deck. Well, let's have a look. I'm not entirely sure it's actually this caravan. Glenn says it is this one. This looks lovely. Before it is know. very lovely. I don't like the way it is. I don't Glenn know. says he don't like the location. No, it's just, it's just, Massive car park next to us. Okay. Oh, I don't mind it, Glenn. I think it's lovely. I bet it's a fortune. What do we reckon? I like the way they do that. You must check this out and then they don't tell you the price. So two bedrooms. Man, this is lovely. I like it. Oh man, it's massive. Well. I think it'd be noisier up here though. Glenn's saying all the negatives. No, it's not as good as view, but it's right near the entertainment complex and the swimming pool. And it's wider, it's spacious. This would be very comfortable to spend like the whole of summer in. Anyway, should we go and see how much he wants for this? I I'm easily swayed. I'm all over it, to be honest. Right, let's go and see. Mick, the salesman, and see how much more he'd want to swap the caravan. Let's go and have a look. Okay, the salesman, he wasn't in. He was showing someone else around. We're going to drop him a message and say, what's the score? How much is it? So, yeah, let's see. Glenn reckons it'll be out of our price range. Mr Warner's got bored with sitting around. He's gone to wash windows. Having a caravan is very much like having a boat. There's always jobs to do. I've never been in our swimming pool here before. He hasn't. Mr Warner's not a big swimming pool fan. Bob about he bobs about a bit, but he doesn't do much swimming. Anyway, let's go. Look at these hanging baskets. They're gorgeous. Look who we found here. It's the, the wonderful Trixie. That's yeah, who we've got here. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> My grandchildren can't wait to see you when they come down in a couple oh, of weeks. Yes. <laughs> Super excited. Stay cool, people. Stay cool. Always, always <laughs> right. Let's find Mr. Warner. He's in there getting a drink somewhere. Let's have a look, see if we can find him. My favourite machine is working. Let's give it a go. Righty, we're back from swimming. That was very lovely. We had a coffee, we had a chat to the salesman. Glenn's like, no, we're not buying the new caravan. Glenn's very assertive about it, no. Glenn is gonna pop to the range because we know he loves that shop. What do you need from the range, Glenn? Um, I need a bulb for the hot, that. A bulb for the hob. There's a bulb gone above the mirror in the so a couple of light bulbs is getting and, tap, and, and an outdoor tap i'm gonna stay here because like i'll only buy stuff i don't need if i go to the range we know that for sure so i'll, I'll buy stuff we don't need too yeah i'm not but, buying any water though so i made a pact that i wouldn't buy bottles of water so yes glenn is doing really well with not buying 
plastic bottles of water since you went to the zero waste shop so well done glenn in fact there's a jug down here that he's been using and he's also been using his water bottles so well done glenn i'm gonna go and edit video glenn's gonna go to the shops mr warner's cooked dinner this evening off to bingo we go let's see if we can be lucky this evening do you know what we are mr warner losers bingo losers bingo again. it don't matter though it's the taking part that that um, counts and we met keith we did meet keith so keith's got a caravan here and he actually bought it two months before we did yeah yeah so he came over to say hello and he's here celebrating his mum's 80th birthday didn't get his mum's name but happy no birthday. happy birthday to keith's mum hope you all have a, a fabulous fabulous weekend it's a beautiful evening and not a bad way to end the week. So there we there have we it. it. It was feels like a long time ago, those two hot days, but <laughs> it was only Monday and Tuesday. Oh, no. We started the week on the boat. We finished it at the caravan. We've had a heat wave that knocked everybody out for two days. Yeah. We drove down here in torrential rain. On the next day. It has been a bit of a dull week this week, I yeah. think. So apologies for that. And if you've stuck with it all the way through, thank you. We'll leave it here for now. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you next week. Take care. Bye. 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 Hello and welcome to a life full of meaning. My name's Lisa and this is Glenn. And together... Oh, line. It's sorry. Not my line. Sorry. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, let's go I, again. I don't get much talk anyway. <laughs> Let's have at least a little bit. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's go. Go for the top. Okay. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. Hello and welcome to A Life Full of Meaning. My name's Lisa and this is Glenn. And guess what? Together we make a weekly vlog. Vlog? <laughs> I couldn't say it. <laughs> I knew you'd pick it up. I was trying to... Come, 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 come. <clears throat> <laughs> Hello and welcome to A Life Full of Meaning. My name's Lisa and this is Glenn. And together we make a weekly vlog. <laughs>